policy initiative do we really need right now? If you can analyze it in two ways, Doctor, I think it will be important. One, considering all the factors that we have, the current situation in the country, and secondly, if we were to say a general infrastructure is met, uh, were there other countries that were capable of overcoming this issue and you know bringing in investments? Yeah, so there are other countries who have faced similar situations like Sri Lanka. I can you know give you a few examples, but what we need to realize is that countries can recover from situations like this, but the recovery time is not as short as some people you expect. know like to think or expect. You know, it's so that's where the examples come in. Now, if you take Greece for example, as we know, around 2009, uh, Greece was in a severe economic you know crisis. Even with the fullest support of the European Union, they are looking at recovering and getting back to what Greece used to be by 2026. So that's a 16 year period during which they are trying to, you know, uh, plan their recovery. If you look at Lebanon, for example, used to be known as the Switzerland of the Middle East, right? And then we know due to bad I mean, debts. Because of investments coming. Yeah, yeah. Defi I mean, mainly due to bad debts and bad planning that uh, the Lebanese, you know, economy crisis happened. Economic crisis happened. Now, uh, the government of France is, you know, uh, really behind Lebanon yeah. and pushing entities like IMF, you know, to come forward and uh, support Lebanon. And they are trying to put some policy policies in place uh, to see whether the country could recover. But uh, 10 years later, after the economic crisis happened, still, you know, they are nowhere near what they used to be before the economic crisis, right? So again, the recovery period would be about 15 to 20 years. A better example is, I would say, Zimbabwe. Right. Between 1999 to until about 2007 or 2008, we all know that Zimbabwe had a major economic crisis, food crisis, you know, and so on. And uh, it's only now, uh, probably after a decade or so, that uh, Zimbabwe is showing uh, signs of recovery. I think the latest GDP growth rate is about 5.1%, which is pretty good. And uh, when you look at how have they recovered, so they have fixed their agricultural policies and make sure that farming and agriculture is given top priority. Uh, national production, right, has been looked at. Uh, industrial development, uh, industrial revolution has been looked at alongside putting uh, fiscal policies in place in consultation with entities like IMF, and that has helped them to recover. So in this context, uh, what should Sri Lanka do? Well, I think Sri Lanka has to do several things. One is we have to speak to traditional as well as non-traditional investors and traditional as well as, well as non-traditional donors. So traditional donors have been, or traditional funding agencies which have helped Sri Lanka have been the ADB, the IMF, World Bank, and so on. Under bilateral arrangements, we have got, you know, assistance from the US, UK, Japan, you know, China, and so on. But we might have to look beyond that, right? Maybe go back to the Scandinavian countries, go back to the European Union, go to the uh, uh, powerful Middle Eastern countries, you know. But then you will have to show them that you are putting proper fiscal policies in place for the country to develop and not just to borrow money and add on to the debts that the, the to an already debt, uh, debt ridden country. So how do you do that? If you look at uh, the subsidies given in Sri Lanka, I think it's probably way more than most other developing countries. In fact, I would go on to say that elections in Sri Lanka won on promise of subsidies. True. Right? So we can't go on subsidizing people instead of educating people right, and asking the people to pay the right price for the right thing because the moment you try to subsidize and if the government and developing countries don't make profits at the end of the day, if you look at their balance sheet, right, there is always debt. So in that situation, in order to meet the subsidies, you keep adding on to the debt.